Welcome to my channel, please if you are new here, just take a few seconds to hit the subscribe button to get amazing contents. The Princess of Wales will obtain the lion's share of the Queen's garments and jewelry collection, as well as the Queen Consort, who will get first choice, royal specialists have claimed. Editor-in-chief of Majesty Magazine Ingrid Swood stated who the objects go to will have been sorted and organized by the Queen some time ago. I think about Her Late Majesty's private jewellery will be given to various participants of her family. The Princess of Wales as the future Queen receiving the lion's share, she explained. There are portions which will continue to be for use of the reigning monarch's spouse in this case Camilla. She will want a massive collection to support her constitutional role. Some items, such as the late monarch's wedding ceremony costume and coronation gown, will be preserved for historic purposes and be positioned on display, Royal Specialist Christine Ross informed for mail. From her bright coordinated outfits, to her matching hats and handbags, the Queen grew to be recognized for her traditional sense of style. Her Majesty, who used to be laid to relaxation on Monday in a non-public burial service in Windsor Castle following her kingdom funeral, used to be rarely seen in the equal piece of apparel in the course of her 70-year reign and when she was, her repeat wares have been carefully considered. With an big cloth wardrobe and jewellery collection, the monarch's passing has left many thinking what may additionally occur to her possessions now. Royal professional Christine said, I would anticipate some of her iconic outfits, such as her jubilee ensembles or the coats and hats worn to royal weddings would absolutely be preserved for historic purposes. The historic Royal Palace's collection preserves a quantity of Queen Victoria's and Princess Diana's clothes, and Queen Elizabeth's garments maintain as tons historical significance and interest. I have no doubt that her wedding ceremony gown and coronation robe would be preserved by the Royal Collection Trust, and would be placed on show frequently. Christine additionally explained most of her Her Majesty's jewels belong to the Crown and would be passed to the subsequent sovereign. She said, items from the Queen's non-public series would have been acceded to her household contributors with every chosen personally by Her Majesty. Like any treasured heirloom, these are surely very one-of-a-kind pieces. I additionally hope that, like Princess Beatrice's wedding ceremony gown, some clothing objects have been surpassed to her grandchildren. Many of the Queen's ball gowns ought to be altered to go well with Princesses Beatrice and Eugenie, the new Princess of Wales, or even Princess Charlotte and Lilibet in the future. Many of the Queen's possessions are held in a have confidence as an alternative than being a part of the monarch's non-public collection, which means her jewellery will stay there. As King, Charles is now in charge of the crown jewels, which have been exceeded down from British monarchs considering the fact that the 17th century the Queen additionally has a private series of jewellery, which is crammed with 300 gadgets of jewellery, in accordance to the times, and consists of 98 brooches, 46 necklaces, 34 pairs of earrings, 15 rings, 14 watches, and 5 pendants. It's thought that a whole lot of the series will go to Queen Consort Camilla and the Princess of Wales. There is a hierarchy in all of this, Royal Professional Katie Nicholl advised entertainment tonight. The Queen Consort, really, gets first choice of the Queen's jewellery. And after that is Princess of Wales, of course, Kate. The Duchess of Sussex, I'm sure, will come in for some jewellery at some point, however she is lots in addition down the pecking order. When it comes to her clothes, royal biographer Brian Howey formally published that as soon as the Queen worn out of her outfits, she would donate them to her dresses, who would either put on them or promote them. If her dresser desires to promote an item, she is now not allowed to reveal any information about its former owner, Brian wrote in his 2011 book, Not in Front of the Corgis. All labels and any other proof that may point to the Queen have to be eliminated so that no one can hint its origin. All of the labels observed on the garments and anything that may want to maybe identify it as having come from royalty are obliterated. Thanks for watching. Drop your thoughts in the comments section and please subscribe to my channel.